So in this video, you're gonna learn how to design a simple start screen and add a button that will take you to another screen in your app. Hey there friend, Darren here, and we are kicking off our Maze Game App tutorial series with this video. And if you want to watch all of the videos in this series, be sure to check out the playlist. If at any point you get lost or things are unclear, be sure to download the free PDF guide that takes you step by step by step on how to make this app. And links, as always, are in the description down below. Let's get started. So I am in Funkable. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new app or a new project. We'll call this Maze Game App. So for this screen, we simply want to welcome the user to the app and invite them to start the maze. So I'm calling this the start screen. We're going to add a, uh, a background image, a welcome message, and then a button that says let's begin. And then that button will take them to the next screen where we will actually show the maze. So let's go ahead and rename this screen to start. For this screen, we're going to set the background picture to one of those pictures that um, I shared with you to download. If you did not watch the introductory video, I will go ahead and share the link to download these pictures in the description below. For this, we're going to use the grass PNG. And there we go. Now we have a start screen with a grass background. So to kick things off, I'm gonna go ahead and add a column in here. And then within that column, I'm going to add a label and a button. The label will show the welcome message and then the button will be the button that brings the user to the next page. Now for the column, I'm gonna go ahead and set justification to space around. This will space out the label and the button so that they are evenly spaced throughout the column container. We will rename label to welcome label and rename button to let's begin button. Now for the label, we're going to change five properties. We will set the text to can you escape a maze you cannot see. We'll set the font to 45 the color to white, the height of the label to fit contents. And then finally, I want this to be centered and the property for this is in advanced. Under text style, we're looking for text align. This will allow us to align the text within the label container and I'm going to center it. Now for the button properties, we have six things to change here. We'll set the text to let's begin. We'll set the text color to white. We'll set the background color to orange. We'll set the font size to 30. We will set the corner radius to 20. And then we'll go ahead and set raised to true. Alrighty, so we have the screen laid out. The next step is to add some blocks so that when I click this button, I go to another screen. But before we do that, we need to make another screen to go to. So up here, I have my start screen. If I click on this plus icon, it will add another screen. Let's go ahead and rename this screen to maze as this is where our maze will be housed. So our maze screen is created and that's all we'll do on it on this video. So let's go back to the start screen and then we'll go to the blocks tab of the start screen. So think about this, what do we want to happen? When we click the let's begin button, we want to go to the maze screen. So that's the basics of coding. You want to basically be able to talk out, explain what you want to do, and then kind of break that down into pieces. So there are, are two pieces right there. So the first one is when I click the Let's Begin button. So the block for this is going to be in the Let's Begin button bucket. And then I'm looking for when Let's Begin button is clicked. And that's right here at the top. 
So when the button is clicked, we'll drag that in. And then the next piece is go to the maze screen. So in control, this is where the go to or the navigate to block is. So this says go to start screen. And when are we going to do this? We're going to do this when we click the let's begin button. Alrighty, so here is the fun part. We get to actually test what we just did. So I have the test app up on my phone and then now I have the app that we just created here on my phone. So let's take a look. So here we see I have the screen. Can you escape a maze you cannot see? Well, I think I can, I'm a pretty smart guy. And then we also have a button that says let's begin. And what we would expect is when we click on that button, it goes to another screen. Oh, here is a bug. So let's go back to the code and I'll show you what I did not do. So here in the blocks, whenever I click that button, it just went straight back to the start screen. And that's because in this drop down, I did not change start to maze. So this is why it is so important to always test your code incrementally so these small little things, we can catch them quickly. So now let's take a look at the app. So now when I click the let's begin button, it takes me to a blank screen and that is what I expect because there is nothing on the maze screen. And that my friend is all for this video. Be sure to check out the next video in this series, the next tutorial, when it comes out next Thursday.